Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Mattel Blazing Sword 6 inch Voltron figure. And after this review, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, you may have seen a different Voltron review for this figure on my YouTube channel. And you may be wondering, why did I take that review off and put it, this one in its place? Well, what happened was I recorded my last Blazing Sword Voltron review. And when I uploaded it, someone in the comment section told me that I should have gone more into the articulation. So I just decided to redo the whole review and take the old one off and put this new one up. Now I will get more into the articulation later in this review, like that person suggested. But talking about uh, this figure, as you can see, he's in front of the Castle Eris background that comes inside the box. Now you sort of have to... Uh, tear this background of the box. This part is actually glued in, so you really have to tear the front of the bottom of the front part of the box to get it out. Now, this button also shows up inside the box, and it's actually below this background. When you push this button, it plays the intro from the Voltron cartoon. Now, take a look at the background. Here you can see uh, Castle Eris in the background. It's very accurate to the way the castle appeared in the cartoon. Obviously, this isn't taken straight out of the cartoon, or else it would look like some kind of grainy footage. There, but it's just it's drawn just like it appeared in the cartoon, which is nice. And here you can see some nice grass here on the bottom because it's painted green. Now take a look at the figure itself. Here you can see Voltron holding his two swords. Now he comes packaged holding his blazing sword. He comes with this unblazed sword which is put right here on the side of Voltron when you see it in the box. Now for some reason the blazing sword on the figure I have right now is crooked. I'm not sure why. I mean it is cement to look a little crooked, but it's actually bent right here for some reason. I'm not sure why. And here's the unblazed sword. As you can see, uh, it's nicely painted with some blue on the handle. Uh, the nice cross, just like Voltron has on his chest. Now, unfortunately, he can't really hold it with the blade side facing forward. He can he has to hold it like this with the symbol um, facing you. Now, unfortunately, the my figure has a loose wrist. I mean, clearly it's not a problem on all Blazing Sword Voltron figures. But it's something I have to deal with on the Voltron figure I have right now. Now, take a look at the figure. Now, you can obviously tell it doesn't transform. Because... And it doesn't have the little lion legs. Now, if you recall in the original cartoon, he never had the little lion legs when the lions were all combined into Voltron. I mean, you did see the lion legs fold up when he was transforming, but when they were actually combining, the lion legs sort of just disappeared and weren't there when they combined. So this Voltron is actually accurate to the cartoon because it's more made after the 80s cartoon than any of the toys that actually came out for it. So that's why you don't see the numbers here. So it's sort of missing that sort of Megazord feel that you saw on the Masterpiece Toynami Voltron or the Ultimate Voltron EX. Now, this Voltron also looks very similar to the big 23-inch Voltron that Mattel eventually made after this one. You might notice the similarities, like 
the white tips on the wings. Um, the way these wings are sort of flat going up and down. Um, the way this black part is sort of curved on the bottom. Although one major difference is that he no longer has the black on the top of his thighs that the big 23 inch Voltron did. Instead he sort of has this black underwear instead. And you can see on the back, it's sort of wider here, uh, butt flap hinders his leg movement, he can't go backward. So you don't really get black short shorts with this Voltron like you did with the Tonami Masterpiece Voltron or the Ultimate Voltron EX. Although the Chigokin Voltron had the black underwear too, oddly enough. Now he also has the yellow belt right here, and like a lot of Voltrons with this star belt, uh, you can see that the top of the left and right points, they sort of slant downward for some reason, I'm not sure why they do that, it's just something a lot of Voltrons have. Uh, taking a look at his arms, uh, you can still see the, where the numbers are supposed to be, some nice red right here. Heads are painted nicely on the hands. Again, uh, you can see where the number is supposed to be. You got some nice blue right here. That's where it was. And some nice yellow on the top. Now, as for the legs, um, they are painted ac very accurately to the cartoon and sort of how the toys are supposed to look. You can tell he's got the red tail fins here. Uh, this little missile launcher here. Um, this red piece um, on the lower part of the leg. Same thing with the blue line. You can see where the number is supposed to be with this yellow piece. It's painted some nice red right here. A nice yellow stripe going down this leg. And for the feet, you can see the, le the mouth of the lines are nicely painted in white. And you can include. You see there's some white ears to break up the blue on the blue line and some black ear to break up the yellow on the yellow line. So even though this doesn't transform, for what it is, just an action figure that looks like Voltron from the cartoon series, I do think it looks pretty good. Now, taking a look at the Blazing Sword Voltron, here he is next to... Uh, the 6-inch uh, Legacy Megazord. Now, you may be wondering why he's got the gold and the black leg. Well, at the time I made this video, um, the Sabretooth Tiger Leg hadn't come out yet. The one that comes with the Yellow Ranger. So, that's why. But, um, they did release a limited edition black and gold version of the Megazord. And I thought I'd just put this leg here, only because I want a regular colored Megazord. And... What a full figure. They're about the same size. Um, obviously, this one is a wing taller. A little stick. Take a look at these side by side. Yeah, I mean, even this is this actually is tall, or overall. Now, taking a look at the articulation. And I'll go more into this than I did in the last video. Uh, first, you may notice that uh, something nice that this figure has that you don't get with many of the combining Voltrons is he, he's got a lot of articulation in the abs. Go up and down, about 45 degrees back and 45 degrees forward. Uh, same thing, uh, you can go left and right, about 45 degrees. Um... Doesn't seem like uh, you can do it. Diagonal ab crunch though. Um, waist. About left and right 45 degrees. The head uh, can look all the way up. Uh, it can go 360 degrees. Uh, 360 degrees. Up. I'd say about 45 degrees as well. The arms do go a full 360, but the wings might hinder it. But you can also. The wings to go back, so 
That definitely frees up the articulation. Elbows bend, not a full 90, unfortunately. Shoulders do go out. Uh, wrists do rotate, unfortunately they're still loose on mine. Uh, jaws do open up, but they're on a, at least the red one, a spring joint that automatically closes. So wrists rotate, uh, they can wiggle, a um, little uh, back and forth, left and right, up and down, sort of feels like they're on a ball joint. Now, I did mention that you can't actually get these to go back because of this big black piece here, but move, lift this leg up about 90 degrees, it goes outward almost to full 90. Uh, legs can bend about, let's say, 90 plus degrees. There definitely is some clearance there, which... Allows for an over 90 degree bend. And the feet does go down. So you can do it with the blue line. Sort of having it look like they, the legs just combined into the black line. Uh, thumb, thigh swivel, 360 degrees. Uh, heads can rotate here. You can wiggle this a little up and down. Diagonally, pretty much any direction. Feels like it's on a ball joint here, too. Wings, um, they do go back. I don't recommend trying to rotate this whole red piece. It, it will definitely create some stress marks. That's mainly because of um, this part here. Uh, part of the black line is protruding out here. It doesn't, won't go all the way around the red piece, at least not without creating stress marks. So it's not worth it. Unfortunately, I did still get some stress marks on the wings. Now, I did try to use the hairdryer to blow it, get rid of this. Unfortunately, it won't, didn't work, so I'm not sure what happened there. I'm pretty sure I didn't pull it with excessive force when I took it out, so... It literally came like that. So, all in all, I do think this... Voltron for a non-combining figure is good. Um, sure, it's missing a lot of the details that we got with, say, the Tonami Masterpiece Voltron or the Ultimate Voltron EX or even the numbers that came with the Jigokin Voltron. But for what it is, a cartoon accurate Voltron that represents Voltron uh, purely in his combined mode, I do think this is a great figure. Now, this was on MightyCollector.com for quite a while. For about 30 bucks. Unfortunately, it sold out there. Um, it did sell out eventually. It's going for about 150 bucks on websites like eBay or Amazon. So, I don't recommend getting it at that price. But if you can somehow find this at close to retail. Or what it was going for on MattyCollector.com. I do recommend picking this up. Definitely a very fun, poseable figure. At least, it is just like this Ve Legacy 6-inch Megazord figure. And I do, in my opinion, I do think the extra details like the numbers or any other added details would have been nice. But if you're a Voltron fan... Definitely think you will like this figure when you get it, especially if you like the cartoon. And it will scale well with a lot of other figures you probably have in your collection, like, say, Pacific Rim and such. Well, that's it for my review. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash legendantihero. You can also follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash legendantihero. You can also follow me on Instagram. My username there is legendaryantihero. Well, that's it for my review. Goodbye.